A year and a half ago, I put Blade Runner away with a cover, with fuel stabilizer, pulled the battery out, kept it on a trickle charge, and this is what I expected to have happen. Takes a little while to get some fuel where it needs to be. That's okay. But here's what you expect. This, now this is the reality of what happened. Uh, the start button didn't work. Uh, the display didn't work when you hit it to put the code in. This is something cool I learned along the way. I can actually send power to the starter. Everything was fine. This is what fixed it. It disconnected the power supply to the computer, the little dash that you see right here. And once I did that, I hit the button and got it to put in the code. And that's how I got it to start. A few other things that can cause it to not crank over, of course, is a blown fuse. If you don't have power here to go here to go here to go here, then it won't go there. And a uh, starter solenoid, if it's bad, I'll show you where that is. Uh, EDM lockout, we talked about the negative lug on the block, uh, or the lanyard switch is bad. We will be covering that here probably Wednesday. So where is a starter solenoid on this? You want to be able to hit it with power here, and that way you don't have to go in through here. If you hit the brown wire and you don't get any response and you have good battery voltage and your fuse is good, then you can assume that your solenoid's bad and you should take the cover off. That's all these 8 millimeter bolts around the perimeter. Hope this video was helpful. If I've earned a subscription, go ahead and slap that. I've got a bunch more videos coming out on this uh, from winterizing, uh, replacing this switch and uh, just little tricks like getting your zippers to work again on your covers whether it's your boat your pwc or your four-wheeler cover stay tuned I look forward to seeing you there